you want to make a fabric server in Minecraft, this is our complete guide for 2025, meaning it works for the current version of Minecraft, but will also work for future versions of Minecraft. If it doesn't, we are always posting new versions of this guide every time a new Minecraft version comes out. So go ahead and search up our channel for the newest version of a fabric server. If for whatever reason you see that there's people having issues in the comments, but most likely 99% of the chance this will still work well into Minecraft 1.22, 1.23 into the future. First things first, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below. This is where you'll find our in-depth fabric tutorial specifically how to get fabric locally which you might be like that's different I want to make server why am I on this guide well first off the download page is the same and second off this is what you'll send to your friends because they're gonna need to install fabric locally in order to join your server later so it's always great to have this guide go ahead and send it to them have them set up fabric locally while you're getting everything set up for the server and on your computer let's go ahead and click download fabric here it will take you to fabrics official download page where we want to go ahead and click this download universal jar link right here when you do that it's gonna go ahead and start the download of Fabric. You may need to keep or save it. It's 100% safe to do that, so let's go ahead and do it. And while this is downloading, I do want to mention that the server we're making here is not a 24-hour server. It's only going to be up and running when your computer is up and running and actively running the server. You're also going to need a really good computer in order to run a Fabric server because, honestly, modern Minecraft, and specifically modern Minecraft servers, are super resource intensive. So you're going to need a modern computer with a really good CPU and a lot of RAM in order to run this server. On top of all that, this server is only made for your friends, your family, people you trust, basically people you would invite over to your house. That's because anyone who gets the IP address of this server can DDoS you, which basically means hit your internet offline, as well as figure out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates. So with that in mind, what if you don't have a good computer and you still want to host a modded server? What if you don't want to have to worry about security and privacy and who joins the server and who gets the IP and all that stuff? What if you just want the easiest way to make a modded server possible, where all you got to do is basically get the server and add the mods? Well, that's where our company, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash simple to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, fabric mods specifically, as well as plugins and mod packs, which is a collection of hundreds of mods, have one-click installation with our one-click easy mod pack installer. On top of all that, there's expert live chat support there to help you out, so don't struggle to make your fabric Minecraft server. Start your fabric server this simple way at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple. Then we go ahead and minimize our browser, and we want to move fabric to our desktop. Now for me, that's going to be in my downloads folder, but for you, it's going to be wherever you keep files downloaded to, right? It could be your desktop or another folder, documents, whatever, wherever your files from Google or your browser download to. We're going to go ahead and drag this to our desktop just because it's easier to use there. And then right click on it, click on open with, click Java and uh, it will open. Assuming you have Java, specifically the correct version of Java. In this case I do so it opened, but for you if you get an error or you don't have Java at all when you open with, right? You right click and open with and you don't have Java at all. Well in that case, what you want to do is get Java in the description down below. Currently, Java 21 is required for Minecraft, and the feature that could change in this article will update to the most recent version of Java that Minecraft requires. If it needs Java 22, Java 23 in the future, that's what will be shown here. Nonetheless, go ahead, download, and install Java. You might also need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer, link them back to Java, and make them work together. But first, get Java, then run the jar fix. Nonetheless, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser, and we want to right-click, open that Fabric installer, right like so. So right click open with Java. First thing we want to do is actually click on client and click install. This is going to install Fabric locally. Like I said, everyone who joins the server, yourself included, needs Fabric installed into their Minecraft launcher. That's what we just did with this installation. Click OK, close out of the installer. Now we want to make a new folder on our desktop. So right click, create a new folder. You can name this anything. I'm going to name it a Fabric Server 2025 because this is our 2025 fabric server guide and then open up the fabric installer again with java now up here at the top you see this little tab that says server click on that then go ahead and click the launcher location click the three dots on here on the right hand side and navigate to your server folder you just created in our case that is fabric server 2025 and click open now go ahead and click install and now all of the fabric so files will download we do want to make sure that we go ahead and click download server jar here going to go ahead and download that as well as generate. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and click done. And now we can close out of the fabric installer. Go ahead and open up the fabric server file here. And here's all of our fabric server files and folders that we need. What we need specifically though is the start.bat file. Yours may not have .bat at the end. As long as the file type's Windows batch file, you're good to go though. Go ahead, double click on that, and it will try to start. If it does fail, it could be because you don't have Java. You have issues there. So go make sure you have Java and specifically the jar fix has been ran if you're having issues. But things are going to try to start here, but eventually they're going to fail. And you can see it has failed to load a ULA. You need to agree 
free to the ULA, press any key to continue. Well, do just that, press any key, it will close out of that, and we have some more files and folders in the background here. Specifically, we have the EULA.txt. Open that up, and assuming you agree to the Minecraft EULA here, which we do, change EULA equals false to EULA equals true, T-R-U-E, exactly like that. Click File, Save, and close out of the EULA. Now double click on that start.bat file again, and now your Minecraft server is going to start with the Fabric Mod Loader. Now we can actually join the server at this point, and we're going to, right? We're going to go ahead and join this server. Your friends can't join right now, but let's make sure you can join. If you join and the server's lagging and having issues, then it's definitely going to be lagging and having issues when your friends join, so it's worth joining now just to make sure. Once Minecraft is open here, the Minecraft Launcher, we installed Fabric earlier, so we can go ahead and play Minecraft using our Fabric installation. If we go to installations up here at the top, we will see that we have the fabric loader here. If you don't, make sure mod is checked. There it is, and now we can play Minecraft. When we play Minecraft, it's going to warn us we're playing modded Minecraft, so go ahead and click play again. And now it'll open up with fabric installed, and we can join our server. So here we are. Minecraft is open. The server is online. We can go ahead and go to multiplayer, click proceed, and we'll add a server. You can name us anything you want. We'll just name it local connection because it's the local connection. Only you can join via this connection, meaning it's local to your computer. For the server address, we're going to use the IP localhost, all one word exactly like that all together and click done. Now we have this local connection and if we double click on it, we'll see us join in on the left hand side successfully. There we go. We're now on our Fabric server. What if you want your friends to join this server, though? Well, in order for your friends to join, you will need to port forward. In the description down below, there's an in-depth guide on how to port forward for a Minecraft server, including a Fabric server. So any modded server this will work with for Minecraft Java Edition. It goes through everything you need to know to get things up and running. But sure, there's a great article here, and it is a great article. But there's also a great video. So if you prefer a video, there it is. If you prefer a text article, there it is. And this goes through common terms and things like that. Even if you don't have the exact same port forwarding router as we do, this will still be able to help you out. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and get some mods on this server. As I mentioned earlier, Fabric needs to be installed locally for anyone who joins the server, but so does every mod that's on the server. So for example, if you were to install a mod on the server, it would also need to be installed locally for you and every single person who joins the server. I know it's inconvenient, but it's unfortunately a limitation of mod in Minecraft. CurseForge and Modern are the most popular places to get mods. We can go on the left-hand side and sort by Fabric and the game version we want. It must be for Fabric and the game version you're playing in order for things to work. If not, they won't work once they get in game. Nevertheless, what mods do we want here? Well, let's go ahead and get Waystones because, well, there's something I want to mention about Waystones. When we select it here, we can go to Files and we'll be able to see we can filter for 1.21.4 and the Fabric Mod Loader. There it is. Now, if we click on this, it actually needs, in related projects, a dependency, a required dependency. There's two of them, the Fabric API and Balm. This is good because a lot of times mods will require another mod to work, and if you don't have it, this whole server breaks. So let's go ahead and download Waystones here after a few seconds. We can save that, and we can repeat that process for both Balm and the Fabric API. Once all of these are downloaded, we can go ahead and get them installed on the server. But I'm also going to show you quickly Modernth because Modernth is another super popular place to get mods. And I want to show you how to see dependencies there as well. We'll use Waystone again as our example. So if we go over here to Modernth, same thing, you can filter for the game version you want as well as the mod loader you want, except we got an error there. That was weird. Try that again. 1.21.4 and Fabric. There we go. These are all Fabric mods. However, like I said, we can go ahead and find Waystones. Let me just search it up and we'll be able able to see that it also has the dependencies listed. So if we go to Waystones here, we'll be able to see if we go to versions and then click on the version we want, which is going to be this fabric version. It has the dependencies, the fabric API and bomb listed as required. If it's optional, you don't need it, but if it's required, you have to have it or it's not going to work. Now, how do we get these mods installed? Well, let's go ahead and do that. It's actually really simple. You want to stop your server. So come over here and stop the server. You also want to close Minecraft because as I said, we're going to need to install these locally as well as on the server. So close out of Minecraft. Then we want to find the mods. They're going to be in my downloads folder here. I'm going to move them to the desktop for ease of use. Now, in our fabric server folder, this is where your start.bat file is, you'll have a mods folder. Move any of the files you need to install over here into this mods folder. Then select them, right click them all, and click copy. The reason we're copying these is because we need to install them locally. How do we do that? Well, let me show you, but you're going to go ahead and start your server now that the mods are in your server's mods folder. As far as installing them locally, let's open up the Minecraft launcher here, and we'll navigate at the top to the installations tab. Then we can find the fabric loader here. Click on the folder, that icon that appears on the right, and in here you will have a mods folder. Paste any mods that you have on your server into this mods folder. This is where your friends will add the mods as well. They'll come in here, click on the folder icon next to fabric, and then add the mods that you send them that are on the server 
right here into this mods folder. Now we can play Minecraft with this and those mods will be active. And most importantly, when we join the server, things will be active as well. As far as your friends joining after you port forward, they'll use the public IP, but that's all covered in that port forwarding guide. While Minecraft is opening with those mods, I do want to mention there are some other helpful links in the description. You want to add RAM to your server? This video will show you how to do it over 50,000 views showing how to do that. This is also a common issue. If your friends can't join the server, it might be because of your Windows Defender firewall. And this guide goes through everything you need to know to get Windows Defender up and running and specifically allow, not up and running, to allow things through your Windows Defender. And then how to fix a broken Minecraft server. This is modded. This is vanilla. It covers tons of different solutions for fixing a Minecraft server if it is broken. So go check that out. It's helped over 125,000 people. At this point, Minecraft is open though, as is our server. So we can go ahead and get these organized and we will join the server multiplayer. We've already got it added right here so we can just join it and once we are in game the waystones mod will be active the easiest way to check that's going to be giving me one in creative so we need to op ourselves come over to the server console type op and then our username right like so and then we can type in game mode creative because now we have all permissions on the server and most importantly we can page over to waystones and place these down there you have it if you have any questions let us know in the comments but we now have things up and running Nonetheless, we will see you in the next video. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And be sure to check out Simple Game Hosting for the simple and easy way to make a fabric server. It'll take way less than 10 minutes, which is around where this video is at. So, yeah, go check that out if you want the simple and easy way to get the fabric server up and running. Plus, there's live chat support. So if a mod breaks, they're there to help. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video, and I am out. Peace.